Hey guys! Hey, hey, hey! I, 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 hope, I hope you're able to find the video again. Um, yes. Sorry about that, we had a few technical difficulties, but um, we're back online. Service is going to start really soon. Yep. Um, but how you can help us is, yeah, please like and share this video so anyone yep. else who was disconnected or is looking for it can easily find it. Okay, mm. thanks so much, guys. Um, one other very quick thing is, well, we do have a uh, connect group starting next month as well. So please uh, be thinking about that. We've got lots of different ones. We'll share a little bit more. Uh, make sure to come back to the post live and we're going to share a bit more about that awesome. as well. Yep. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so yeah, please like and share the video so more people can see it. Anyone that was disconnected can get come reconnected on. easily. So that is cool. So thanks so much. And uh, yeah, let's, for let's get ready for it. <laughs> yeah, thanks for all the guys in the background quickly like getting these things working again. Yeah. yeah. So, awesome. Very, are you guys are ready for the very, service today? Andy, are you ready? Yeah, I think yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Finally, we're going to join the service yeah. this morning. There's going to be amazing worship and a word from Pastor Rod and yeah, it's going to be great. So stay connected and then please share right now. Okay, mm. then yeah, we're going to yeah, switch wow. into the service right now. So I'll see you guys after the service. Oh, we'll see you then. Well, hello, my name is Adrian. I'm one of the pastors at Lighthouse here in Tokyo. And I want to say welcome to Church Online. We are so glad that you've taken the time to connect with us today. We are, we've got an incredible service ahead of us. We're going to start with worship. We're just going to celebrate Jesus together. And then we've got the preaching of God's word, which is going to encourage and empower us. And so why don't you open your heart and get ready to celebrate Jesus together. door and you made a way I know there is no mistake I'm living in the light of a brand new day everything I need is found in you everything I need is found in you running only after you we're trusting
this moment What word and chains are falling down, falling down, trusting in your promises, lifted by all that you said. Speak to me here, Lord. Fill me with power. Living within me. Your word is fire. Speak to me here. Well, worship is such a powerful time to come into the presence of God. And I know he's there with you right now and he wants to do something great in your life. He cares about you. He died on a cross and rose again for you. And I believe that right now is a moment where he can do something significant in your heart. And so I just want to take a moment just to pray for us. Um, a lot going on in our lives right now and a lot going on in the world, but God is with us. So why don't we just give this moment to God and let him touch your life personally as we pray here together. Lord, I, I thank you for what you're doing in our lives through this season, Lord. You're doing something good, God. We don't understand it all, but we know that you're leading us to somewhere good, God. And I pray that right now that, that you would give people a sense of peace, a sense of your rest, Lord, that, that your, your, your peace and your love would flow through them. Lord, through the power of the Holy Spirit, that you would touch lives, Lord, wherever they're watching from, Lord, in whatever kind of situation, Lord, whether they have financial needs or other pressures of life or challenges with the kids or whatever it is, God, I pray that you would move, that you would meet people's needs where they are, at, they are at, Lord, and that you would touch their hearts most of all, God. So we thank you and we believe for you to keep moving in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. 
And church, I just really believe that that through this time of worship, that God can do a miracle in your life and in in your heart. So why don't we jump back into another great worship song and let's praise our God together.
Wow, wasn't that just an incredible time of worship? Isn't it so good to be able to celebrate and worship Jesus together? So welcome to church. If it is your first time with us, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate that you're taking the time to connect with us. And if you want to find out more about Lifehouse Church and who we are and and also learn a little bit more about yourself and how you can get involved in this church and the mission that God has us on, the Grow Courses for you. So you can see some links below or go to our website and, and, and go to the Grow Course and we would love you to do the Grow Course. Well, it's time for our tithes and offerings and what a blessing it is to be able to uh, give to our local church and also to honor God with our tithes. So let's look at the scripture for this month. It's in Deuteronomy 15 verse 10 and it says, Give generously to them and do so without a grudging heart. Then because of this, the Lord your God will bless you in all your work and in everything you put your hand to. And certainly I have found this bu- this blessing has been applied to, to me and my wife's life. Every month we, uh, we send our tithe off to the church, our 10% uh, through bank transfer. And we are just absolutely living the blessed life. And we love to see our tithes making a difference in our church, the church that we love. And also we love to honor God with the first of our finances. And that's been such a great blessing in our life. And I know it can be a great blessing to your life too. So if you would like to give, go to mylifehouse.com slash give and you'll see a list of city names and you can find your city, your local church, and you'll see all the great giving options that you have right there. So God bless you as you tithe and you put God first um, in this wonderful uh, way to give. Hey guys, just want to take a moment to welcome you and invite you to Lifehouse College. Lifehouse College is a place where we've got so many students, around 120 students right now studying either their diploma or their bachelor's of ministry right now. So studying the Bible. What's also really exciting is we have added a brand new creative stream this year. It's been incredible. And also From September, brand new, we are adding a video module to our training. So this is going to transfer into real world situations, real world jobs for people. We want to help you and equip you to make a difference in your workplace, to actually get a great job and also for in the church, to serve God in the church. So just the experience of Lifehouse College is amazing. You know, we've got um, Pastor Adrian who takes care of all of our student experience um, from South Africa. If you haven't met Pastor Adrian, amazing guy. Um, He would love to get to know you, welcome you into college. We've also got Pastor Josh and just the whole team is just committed to helping you grow in your faith and um, have an amazing college experience. So new semester starts in September. We're just around the corner. It's not too late to sign up. I'd encourage you to jump onto the website. Links are below. Definitely jump on the website. Check it out. There's videos, there's content there, there's testimonials. Send us an email. Even if you're interested, send us an email and we'd love to talk to you more about Lifehouse College. Hi, church. This is Thales from Lifehouse Hiroshima. And today I have the privilege to share with you the dreams and vision that God has given me for this season. I'm so thankful for this season, not because of circumstances, but actually because of His dreams and that He's given me. Uh, ever since our church started going online, I just thought, what's in my hand so I can play a part in God's kingdom? And with the support of our leadership and our pastors, we were able to start Lifehouse Portuguese. Yes, what an awesome opportunity. And something that was already within my hands, which is the Portuguese language, I never really thought I could use that in God's kingdom, but I just prayed about it and I journaled and I asked God, like, how can I help uh, your kingdom's growth in this season? And this is what I felt and this is what we are doing now. 
So if this testimony can encourage you somewhat, is that what's within your hands can be something that it's useful in God's kingdom. And this is my dreams and visions. Here we go. Thank you, church. A brand new semester for Connect Groups is just around the corner. And you may never have thought about this, but actually you may be a great candidate if you're part of our church to actually lead a Connect Group. Especially have to think about a community Connect Group. Basically what it is, is finding something that we're passionate about doing and then inviting some people to come and do that together or while giving them a taste of Christian community and what church is really like. Now you may, may, may not think of yourself as this incredible person, but actually, I believe that you have gifts and talents. God wants to use that. And I want to encourage you, get in touch with your campus pastor, send them an email, get in touch. Um, we would love to talk to you about helping you bring God into your passion area and bring in some people along with you and building the church together. There's so many options about doing it online while we're in this season. Um, people are doing cooking connect groups gardening, DIY, I mean, literally, languages, that, that it's endless, the possibilities of what we can do together. So why don't you think about it and do more than that. Get in touch with your Canvas pastor. They would love to talk to you about starting a community connect group. Wow, it's time for God's Word. So why don't you just sit down, relax, and open up your heart because I believe that God wants to speak to you. So get ready to take some notes and enjoy this message. Hello everybody, how are you? It's Pastor Rod here again. Oh, it's so wonderful to come to the Word of God. Yay! We love the Word of God. And even though we're in this pandemic and it's going on longer, our hearts are good, our, our spirit is right, our, our minds are right. Come on, we're, we're going forward in, in Jesus' name. And here at Lifehouse, we're hearing so many hundreds of stories of lives being changed. We're hearing of, of healings. We're hearing of, hearing of salvations. We're hearing of people come back to Jesus. We're hearing of people, we know of people who've been baptized who have never actually been in a physical church service. Amazing. Come on. And so today I want to talk about a, a theme I've called break back. Break back. It's a tennis term. It's a, I remember playing tennis, a, a brilliant young tennis player. No, 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 not really. I wasn't that good, but uh, <laughs> in my dreams, in my, in my dreams. But I remember playing a, a young man here in Japan when I first arrived, one of the young Australians called Luke Kennedy. And, um, <laughs> and uh, although I was a little bit older and more experienced than Luke, uh, he did get a couple of games from me. He did win a couple of games. And so the concept of when Luke got a game, I had to break back. It's a tennis term. <laughs> it's a tennis term. It means he's not going to keep winning or I need to change now. Now, the concept of break back is not next time we play or next month when we play. The concept of break back is the very next game. The next game, I've got to win. I've got to win that next game. And so, of course, the next game I was able to break back and uh, not always. But in my illustration here today, we need to be people that have this internal system where we can break back. And in the pandemic, some, some people maybe have lost some vision, lost some drive, lost some ambition. Obviously, some people have, have had a very hard time and maybe lost a job or even a, even a loved one. And, and so this is not a great time in the world's history, but we are not, um, we are not people that step back. We are people that break back. Come on. We're people that break back. Hey, I remember when I was um, uh, about 15 years old, I was playing rugby because look at this body. This looks like a rugby body. <laughs> you guys are laughing too much right now. Uh, stop laughing. And uh, no, anyway, <laughs> um, 
I used to be very fast. And anyway, getting back to my story. So we, we were in, um, I'd played rugby from about the age of eight every year. And our team was not a good team. It was, it was a losing team. And for years, we stuck together because we were friends. And we said, oh, next year and oh, next year. And uh, at the end of every year, we'd say, are we going to play again next year? No, nah, yeah. And then we would play again and lose again. And one year, we were really seriously going to give up, like disband the rugby side. And, and all of a sudden, a new coach came in, and, um, and he came and spoke to us young boys, and um, he said, do um, you think you're going to win? And we, went, we, we couldn't even imagine win, winning. We couldn't even think of breaking back. We couldn't even, we didn't even have it in our hearts. And long story short, that coach took us over. We all decided to play. We got a couple of new players and by the end of that season, we were the premiers. Yay, we won from the, the last to the first. And as I think about breaking back in that situation, what changed? Well, number one, we got a new coach. And friends, I tell you, we got the best coach. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus Christ. And, and the Bible says he's come into our lives and we're called the children of God. And he's put his spirit in us and his word. And his, his word is powerful. And he's called us to be overcomers overcomers. We, we got a new coach in our life. And back in my, my rugby team, all of a sudden he was speaking some new words to us, words such as um, he said to us, do you, boys, do you boys want to win? And you know what? We couldn't even answer yes because of years of loss and failure. It wasn't even, do you want to win? It wasn't, it wasn't, yeah, it was, uh, 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 it was, it was not even a clear answer. And so he's, he had to have some new words. And I want to tell you, we've got new words. It's called the, the word of God. Come on, the word of God. It says your word, your word is, is, uh, is a lamp unto my path. Your word brings brightness to my life, brings joy to my heart, brings the word of God. We've got new words in our life. And, and the Bible says that God gives us his word. Come on. The coach also then had to bring us new hope, hope that things could change. There's a new future. And I want to tell you, friends, that we've got a great coach. He's got some great words, but we have to receive and hold hope. And then he said, okay, now you've got hope. You're going to have to practice two times every week. What? We've got to actually run and, and do push-ups. And yes, he said, you want to win? You've got to have a new habit. And I, I love our habit of journaling, of, of reading the Bible and, and saying, God, speak to my life. And I've been doing this for 41 years and, and the God of the universe wants to speak to me today and, and God wants to speak to you today. There's, there's new words, there's new hope. We've got to have a new practice, a new practice. And if we miss a day here and there, doesn't matter. But our habit drives us back to hear more of God's word. And finally, we'll get new wins, new wins. In this pandemic right now, I want to talk about breaking back in three areas. You ready? to come to the Word of God. The first area we've got to break back is, I think we've got to break back into the Word of God. And some people at this time around the world have stopped reading the Bible. Uh, I was hearing a, a report from, from the USA um, that during the pandemic, the, the, the average Bible reading, the number of people reading the Bible every day has gone down from 14% to 9%. Now, 14% is pretty amazing. 9% is, is really good, but the decrease in a time of trial, was very surprising. I'm, I'm like, hey, that's the Japanese way you show surprise. Hey, everybody together now. Hey. And uh, don't you love the Japanese people? They're awesome. And um, they, from 14% to 9%. And I thought, why would the reading of the Word of God go down? It's like we've lost, or some people have lost the Word of God impact in their lives. There's no judgment on that, but I'm thinking... As a pastor, I don't want to go down from 14 to 9. I, wherever we are, I want to, I want to go up, right? I, I, want, I, want, I, want, I want more people to, to, to get the, the, the coach and the word and the hope and the practice and the wins. I, I want us to get that. So, so when I read that, I thought, why would Bible reading go backwards? And I thought, well, maybe it's because they do Bible reading at church, physical church, or in physical church connect groups, which are both amazing. But we can't do that right now. We don't have those two structures to physically meet in a church and worship together. One day we'll do that. 
but it's not this day. You can't get together in small groups usually and, and do a lot of stuff. So I think it's because people's habits was attached to being together and reading the Bible. That is awesome, but right now we can't do that. So I think the concept of breaking back would be, even though I'm alone, I'm learning to read the Word of God for myself. Come on. Come on. Although you're by yourself, you can open up your Bible or open up a Bible, a physical Bible, or on your phone, your iPad, your computer. We've got so much. We've got so much. Come on, let's break back into the Word of God. I want to read a scripture to you from Nehemiah, Old Testament scripture, uh, chapter 8. Now, in Nehemiah, it's the story of Israelites who were in captive, they were in prison or imprisoned in a foreign country called uh, Persia, Persia, modern day Iran. And, and the Israelites were there for 70 years. And there was a prophecy that after 70 years, they would be set free. And they were be set free by King Cyrus of, of Persia. Amazing story. And Nehemiah and Ezra, two amazing guys, and a third guy called Zerubbabel, moved back to Jerusalem. But Jerusalem was broken down it was it was broken it was it was it was the walls were broken the temple had been completely destroyed the uh all the the gold and the silver taken away there was just it was not what they remembered 70 years of talking about Jerusalem let's go back and they go back and it's in destruction the walls are broken down the temple's just a a ruin and the people were disappointed and they had to break back. Come on. They had to break back. There was a a, a sadness of soul. And I want to say to you today, if there's a sadness of soul, we need to break back into joy. If there is moving away from the word of God, come on, make a new decision. So what happened was Ezra in chapter eight, verse five and six, it says, Ezra opened the book. When Ezra, the leader opened the book, like I'm doing right now, opened the book, it says, All the people could see him. Wow, that sounds like online service, right? (laughs) Even today, even if you're not in Tokyo, you could be in Hong Kong or uh, in Bali or uh, USA or England or Australia or um, uh, Philippines. What happened to my voice there? Excuse me. Philippines, that's better. Um, You could be anywhere. And it says that that when you open the book and and it's like getting a book and uh, the word of God and, and opening the book. And it says all the people could see him. And it basically, it's all the people had an expectation. This, well, we're, come, we're breaking back into the word of God. And it says because he was standing above them. And as he opened it, it says all the people stood up. Yay! Now, you could do that at home or you could not do that at home. It's up to you. But I think it's an amazing sense that uh, whether you're sitting or standing, uh, when we need our hearts to stand up. With the word of God. Every day, God, what would you say to me? Come on. Every day, I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a, a, a new uh, little, um, uh, a little video every day journaling from the gospel of Mark in September and October. I, I'm going to invite you as I open the book. Uh, well, hope you, hopefully it's not that squeaky, but um, <laughs> open the book. We're, we're going to stand up. Come on. This is called journaling. God, I'm expectant. God, you're going to speak to me. You got a word for me. You got a word about my relationships, my job, my troubles, my, my, my sickness, my whatever it is. And if I'm in a good place, even more vision, even more dreams as we open the Bible. Come on, stand up, stand up and praise the Lord. Come on. And it says, when the people stood up, Ezra, the leader, praised the Lord, the great God. And all the people lifted their hands and responded by saying, Amen. Amen, which means amen. <laughs> it means so be it. It's an old, it's a Hebrew word, which means let it be so. Let it be like you just said. So when we opened the, the, the book, the people all stood up. It made the leaders go, whoa, God's doing amazing things. All the people lifted their hands and they all said something out loud. Let it be so. Let it be so. Come on. Come on. Let's give God a big praise. Come on. I tell you, we're going to break back. We're going to break back into the Word of God. And if you've stopped journaling, come on, get into a habit. Not by law, but by, whoa, God wants to speak again. I'm jumping right now. Did you know that? Do you know this plant here is jumping as well? And uh, <laughs> we've, we've given him a name. 
His name is Mr. Potts because he's living in a pot. And uh, it's Viv's, my wife's name for him. Uh, she wanted to give him another name, but I said, no, no, that's, that's a good name. Sorry, Potts. And um, <laughs> we're having some fun here today. But come on, we've got to break back. Whoops, almost lost my microphone in my excitement too. Oh, there we go. Hey, man, are we good? Are we good? There we go. There we go. Are we good? Are we good? We're good? Good, good. Hey, 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 hey. When, 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 when this all starts happening, the word opened. People standing up in their hearts. Hey, don't get familiar with the word of God. Don't, don't say, well, I read it for so many years. And No, no, no. Say, God, I'm going to break back into the Word of God. And I believe we are not of those who step away. We are those who step in. Amen. And it says they bowed down and worshipped the Lord with their faces to the ground. Now, we don't do that in Japan or in our countries, but in some countries they do that. What do we do in our countries? Well, it's a, it's a heart thing of, of anything given to God, whether it's praise or worship or tithes or forgiving people, or, or obedience. It, worship is when we give something to the Lord. He is worthy, and we give it. It's called worship. Come on, break back into the word of the Lord. Let's, let's go on with our story, verse 8 to 10. And they read from the book of the law of God, making it clear and giving the meaning so the people understood what was being read. I, I believe this, this mode of preaching right now, which is almost like a, a, a chat, a me and you, although I'm getting a bit excited here, I guess. But uh, this style, I believe, is the future. I think even when we get back to, to physical church, the preaching style is going to be a lot more just, hey, let, let's chat together. Let's, let's encourage one another. Let's, let's, let's get the word and, and let's see. I, I, think that, I think whatever we had was great. But I believe the future is going to be amazing for this new generation. I really do. Make it clear. You know, the purpose of preaching and teaching is never to impress people. Never. It's never to make people go, whoa, he knows the word of God. The, word, the purpose of preaching and teaching the word is that people understand it. That people get it. It's like a great teacher at school. The great teacher is not the one that looks the best. It's the one that helps the student get the information that makes them pass the exam and go on into dreams and visions. Come on, we are leaders. We are here to help people understand. And I would really encourage you to share this message, subscribe. Uh, maybe you would want to uh, share your, from your heart to someone else, contact someone. Why don't we share this in Jesus' name? It says we made it easy. And Nehemiah, the governor, Ezra, the priest and teacher of the law, and the Levites who were instructing the people said to them all, this day is holy to the Lord. Don't mourn or weep. And in this pandemic, there is times that we could be sad or disappointed. But today is not that day, friend, when we open that word and we start praising and we start speaking and we start worshiping God and saying, Amen, Amen. Our attitude will lift because it's spiritual. It's spiritual. Don't mourn. Don't weep. There is a time for that. But right now is not that moment. For all the people had been weeping as they listened to the words of the Lord. Why were they weeping? It's because they'd gone away from God's word. And all of a sudden they were breaking back into God's word. And they're saying, this is not the time to, to weep and cry and, and, and say, I'm so bad. No, no, no. This is the time to say, God, what would you say to your son or daughter today? Verse 10. And Nehemiah said, go and enjoy choice food. I, I love that in Japan or Actually, all of our countries. I love all our food in, in uh, Japan. And oh, I'm getting sidetracked. Okay. Go and enjoy choice food and sweet drinks. That's probably like the tapioca tea from Taiwan. <laughs> and send some of those who have nothing prepared. This day is holy to the Lord. Now, listen to the last sentence. You ready? Do not grieve because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Come on. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Come on. Come on, when we're opening the word of God and we're singing and we're speaking and we're worshiping and we're going, amen, amen, and, and, we're, and we're starting to understand and journal, it's saying it's a time for the joy of the Lord is our strength. Come on, the joy of the Lord is our strength as Christians. Uh, my strength comes from God. Okay, New Testament scripture. We're going to shift to point number two. Number one was break back into the word. Number two is, come on. Let's break back into the mission of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And, and, and I want to read to you from Luke chapter uh, 4. 
in Luke 4, Jesus is just establishing himself as who he is, the, the Messiah, the, the Christ, the, the Savior, the, the, the miracle worker, the teacher, the, the one that people had been waiting for. And he's in a synagogue in his home area in, in Luke chapter 4, and it says, Jesus returned to Galilee in the power of the Spirit, and the, the news about him spread through the whole countryside. It's actually the word fame. Fame spread. Fame. Who's that guy? That's, that's that Jesus. He's, whoa, you should see what's happening there right now. And he was teaching in their synagogues. That's like their churches. And everyone praised him or lifted him up, said, whoa. And he went to Nazareth. That's his hometown where he had been brought up. And on the Sabbath day, he went into the synagogue. And as was his custom, he stood up to read. And the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was handed to him. A scroll's like that. It's obviously not a piece of paper, but it's, it's similar. It's a bit stronger. And um, the, this big scroll, Isaiah, was handed to Jesus. And he's just about to uh, explode with breaking back into the mission, the mission of Jesus. And it says that he unrolled it. He found the place where it is written. And this is from Isaiah 61. The spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news for the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Whoa. And he rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of everyone in the synagogue were fastened on him. What did Jesus do? He's giving the mission of God into the church. What is our mission today? And some people say, well, we're, we can't meet physically and we can't do a lot of things. That's true. But the mission doesn't change. We've got to break back. Come on, break back online. Break back online. Break back on whatever we're doing on, on Twitter or, or Instagram or uh, YouTube or Facebook or whatever, whatever tool, whatever tool we want to use. doesn't matter. We can use it for the glory of God. And, and to break back means that we can share. And you could share a scripture with someone, encouraging scripture. You know, these things, let's have a look at what, what Jesus said, these, this breaking back, to, to proclaim good news to the poor. Who are the poor? Well, in Luke it says the poor in, the poor in spirit or, or the poor in heart. It means those without God. Um, it could be the, the physical poor. And I, I'm so glad that we share with so many wonderful families in New Delhi, some of the poor families we love to give to Tejas. We love to give to Watoto kids in Uganda. Uh, we, it's, it's great. But, but, but our mission, our mission is to share good news. Share good news. Our mission is to speak freedom for the ones who are captive. And I want to say people who are, are sad and bullied and, and feeling down and feeling bad, I feel with you. But I want to tell you, God is able to lift you. The message we have of the church of Jesus Christ is God is able to touch you and heal you, and change you, and free you, and lift you again. Come on, break back into Mission Church. Come on, why don't you share? Why don't you subscribe? Why don't you like? Why don't you send to a friend? As I said, people are getting saved and baptized without even coming to church right now. Mums and dads and people, we hear it again recently, someone's um, a non-Christian dad subscribed to our channel. I hope you're watching today, sir. We honor you. We thank you for watching our program as a seeker of Jesus Christ. Come on. Come on. The mission goes on. Break back in the mission. Break back and speaking God's favor and plan. And the last thing I want to say we need to break back is, come on, let's break back ourselves into 2020. Instead of calling this a year of disaster, a year of uh, pain, uh, there's even some memes out there in the, saying in the future people will, will like, oh, 2020, well, like, a, like the worst day of my life. And I don't want that. I, I got six months more of this year or four months more. Anyway, um, I don't want this to be a wasted year. I want to break back in my life in dreams and visions. And we've got one last scripture. You ready? It's from 1 Peter 5, 10. And then I'll tell you a story as I finish. It says, the God of all grace who called you and me to his eternal glory in Christ after you or me 
have suffered a, a little while, a, a time frame. He himself will restore you and make you strong, firm and steadfast. Whoa, come on, come on, come on. 2020 will come and go. 2021 is coming soon after. We don't know how long this is going to take, but I don't want to waste a month. I don't want to waste a moment. Come on, break back. Break back in the pandemic right now. Break back in your life. I want to finish with this one story. I, I remember being in, in the Philippines many years ago. This is one of my Philippine stories in, in Mindanao in the south in a, a town called Hingoog. It's spelled G-I-N-G-O-O-G. Like if, as an Australian, I'd say Gingoog. And then so no Pastor Rod, it's Hingoog. Okay, it's Hingoog. And uh, this town, big town, and uh, there was a, a night meeting. I was the speaker. And we'd been seeing miracles, honestly. We'd seen blind eyes open in Jesus' name. I saw paralytics walking in Jesus' name. I, 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 I saw so many miracles. And we had a, a night of, of, of praying for the sick. And it was, it was becoming dark. And from the, from the motel room or the hotel room, walking across a field to the stadium. And as I walked across the field this night to get there, it was, it was dark. There was no lights. And I didn't know it, but there was a, a big hole in the ground. And as I'm walking across and um, I could hear the people there and the lights and I'm, oh, praise the Lord. All of a sudden I fell down a hole. <laughs> I fell down, actually down under the ground. And as I went down, I hit my knee on the side of the, uh, of the, of the trench and um, uh, I, I chipped a little tiny bone in my knee, not, not broken, but like a, a fracture. And uh, I was also, as I landed, I realized I was in muck. And guess what the muck was? It wasn't very nice muck. It was actually really bad muck. And uh, <laughs> you get the picture. Um, I don't know if I can say the word here on the TV channel, but you get the picture. It wasn't good muck. And um, I had to actually climb out and uh, go back to the hotel room. I, I just turned the shower on and stood under the shower going, oh, God, oh, God. And uh, right there I had a choice. I had a choice as I stand, stood there sort of saying, why me? And why didn't you protect me, God? And, and why wasn't there angels around me? And, and uh, I was supposed to preach the gospel about healing. And I've got this, this bad knee now. And uh, as I was in there, I had a choice. Was I going to break back? Just like in tennis game, I just lost a match. And the next game, what am I going to do? Come on, break back. And in that hotel room, I, I washed and washed. And I took those clothes off and threw them away. And they never used them again because they were muck and um, nasty and got, you know, had some new clothes. And, but I had a bad knee and I, 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 I limped all the way over, not over that the same area, Lim- went right around a road where there's lights, came in and got up and I declared, Jesus Christ is Lord and he's going to heal you tonight. Really? And I've got a bad knee? Absolutely. And we saw hundreds and thousands of people give their lives to Jesus Christ get healed and and yes i was saying god heal me too heal me too heal this person lord and now heal me and and they were being healed and i wasn't and i don't understand that to this day i don't understand that but i do know this we got to break back come on we got to break back and no matter where you're at right now church come on lifehouse come on let's 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 get into the the gospel of mark let's let's get into the word let's get into the mission let's share and let's get into this year finally and say this year is going to be a great year This year, this year, there's going to be hope. This year, I'm going to get some new practices. And this year, we are going to win in Jesus' name. Come on, let me pray. Come on. Jesus, you're the King of kings. And Lord, we give you praise that on the cross, it looked like such a defeat, but it was your greatest victory, Lord. And we give you praise for the cross, for forgiving us and loving us and for rising again after three days. You're a risen Lord. You're, you're, you, you broke back instantly. Power of God, the, the anointing of God. And I'm praying for all people watching, for mums and dads and cousins and uncles and friends watching this today all over the world. Christians would break back into the Word, would break back into mission, and would break back into this year. And for those who are seeking you, Lord, they would say, Jesus, help me, lift me, forgive me. Lord, they would, they would look to you as the Savior of their life right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on. And finally, maybe you would like to make that decision right now to follow Jesus or 
come back. We have lots of people coming back to Jesus right at this moment. And I want to count to three and uh, include you in my prayer to receive Jesus, to become a believer in Jesus. Are you ready? Would you like to pray with me? I'm going to count to three. Here we go. One, God loves you. Two, would you open your heart to him right now? And three, would you believe in Jesus? Let me pray. Jesus, I pray for these people that would open their heart and they would believe that you are the son of God. You are the savior of the world. Forgive them, free them, lift them, put your grace and love on them. In Jesus' name, amen. Whoa, I'm, I'm excited. Come on, this is break back, break back, break back. Come on, What's, what was today's message? I think it was break back. Come on, let's do this together. Hey, after this, we've got um, lots of things happening in the church. We've got connect groups. Why don't you have a look at the, the connections and connect with some great people. Have an amazing week. Wow, what an incredible message. I hope you guys were encouraged the same way I was. Now, if you if you made that decision right now to follow Jesus, I mean, we just want to give you a huge, big clap. Our whole church is right behind you, supporting you. The Bible says that all of heaven rejoices together with you as you do that. Now, this is not the end. This is just the beginning of this amazing journey with God. And we would love to help you in any way we can to get you involved in community and just support you on this new journey of faith. Now, if you want to find out more right now, you can just jump onto mylifehouse.com forward slash Jesus. Send us a message. We would love to follow up with you. Um, build some relationship and help you in your next steps in following Jesus. Well, recently I've been hearing about so many good things in our church, so many great stories, people getting baptized, getting great jobs, getting breakthroughs in their marriage, their kids, just so many good things. And we want to give praise to God for that. And also, you may not realize this, but your story could have a powerful impact on other people who actually don't even know God. So we would love to hear your story. We've created a space for you to share it at mylifehouse.com forward slash stories. The link is below. And we would love you to share your story with us. And maybe that story could be a powerful thing for other people to hear as well. So jump on there, share your story. We would love to celebrate what God is doing in your life together. One big way we can get this service out to more people is by liking and subscribing. So if you're on Facebook, you can do that. If you're on YouTube, you can also do that. And of course, you can always share the message and the service with your friends today. Well, have an awesome week. Um, we pray that God is with you. It's going to be a great week for you. And uh, hey, we can't wait to see you at church next week. See ya. Wow. How good was that, huh? Yeah, it was great. Uh, so good. The breaking back. Yeah. The, the getting back into it. I Come think on. it's so good, right? Yeah. 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 It's That's such a, a good, message. such a good message. So I think through the season, right? It's kind of like, oh yeah, okay, yeah. Maybe in a few months we'll go back to normal, or you know, maybe it's going to happen soon. Um, it can be easy to kind of forget about some of those things or, or not take, uh, have put so, so much of importance. But I think, you know, just that simple practice of journaling for ourselves, doing those, yeah. those things can really, really bless our life, right? Amen. Yeah. Yeah. So, so good. I, yeah. I love that. And uh, yeah, a crazy story. So it's break good. Back. Yeah. <laughs> Let's break back, everyone. Breaking back. Yeah. Yeah. It's been breaking back. Why don't we comment? There, I think. Why don't we use the comment section and then type in uh, "break back" or "let's break him back" or yeah, yeah uh, let, let's, let's break it. back and, and yeah. think for yourself. Okay, how are you? How are you gonna break back? How are you gonna break back into mission? Uh, yeah. What do? You, how are you gonna help? You know, share and get the word out, or um, maybe for you, it's getting back into journaling or whatever yeah. it is for you. You know, let, let's do those things. You know, Come let's on. put legs on that. Yeah, awesome. so good. But um, yeah, we want to also just give an opportunity for anyone who is watching um, that maybe doesn't know Jesus or you've been away from God and you would like to come back. So we want to pray with you now yeah. um, while we're online with you. 
and want to invite you to do that. So if that is you, you want to start a relationship with Jesus or you want to come back, uh, let's pray together now. So yeah. I'm going to pray and then I want you to like repeat after me wherever you are. So let's do it. Let's pray. So, um, dear Jesus, I believe in you. Thank you for forgiving me. Come into my life and I will follow you. Amen. 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 Come on. Yeah. Come on. If you prayed that prayer, then uh, that is so great. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Uh, the Bible says that you, if you profess with your, believe in your heart, profess with your mouth that you are saved. And we'll, that's a really great thing. Mm. So, yeah, if you if you did, yeah, please go to that link, mylifehouse.com slash Jesus, or just simple send an emoji, send a comment, uh, let us know so we can connect with you, right? Yeah. And it's so good. So good. But we we got a couple of things we wanted to mention. Or well, one big thing, right? Yep. Um, is we've got connect groups starting, right, Shiva? Come mm -hmm. on. Yes, we're going to start connect group uh, from next week, actually. So, yeah. yeah, community group and a Bible Bible connect group, like both are going to be on. Um, English, Japanese, uh, Tagalog, any language. I think uh, there is some, there is definitely like there's a group that like you feel I can belong here or like, oh, I want to join. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, why don't you check out our website, uh, mm -hmm. www, no, www.mylandhouse.com uh, <laughs> slash connect group <laughs> yeah and you can check yeah, check that yeah. and also if you're following our social media facebook uh instagram um, those social media we're going to share the information as well so yeah please check that and join our connect group next semester let's do something fun together guys yeah absolutely yeah. absolutely like we can yeah there's so many fun things that we can do together through connect groups and yeah. especially in this time you know, it can be easy to feel isolated but connect groups are a great way to feel mm. like you belong like you've got friends yeah and yeah we can enjoy them man it's so good so good well we've got a we've got a big day um here uh we've got a few more services and mm. kids program and stuff happening as well so yeah. if you're joining you want to join that uh, that's all going to be happening. Uh, Ten twenty for the kids live. Yep. Um, kids Zoom is that kids right? Kids Zoom. Shiva? Yeah. Kids Zoom. Yep. Yeah. And um, Shiva Van and, and then, Amanda comes on the screen at ten forty-five. That's right. And that's come right. On bones. Come. Yeah. Some more stuff. shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, Andy, so can I good. can I mention mm -hmm. something? Um, yeah, so like we as a church, we want to hear your story, like what God has been doing in your life. Um, you know, some blessing story, good story, testimony, breakthrough, anything. But we, we want to hear your story because I believe God is moving your life. Um, so if you, yeah, if you want to share, like it's, it's no obligation, but if you want to share, there's going to be the link comes up on the chat section, comment section. One of our Next Steps mm. team is going to share the link. So please yeah. share your story. And also, if you have any kind of prayer request, don't hesitate, but like send us your prayer request. Uh, it, it's going to be anonymously, but we will pray for you. We want to pray for you. So mm. we're believing God's going to move. God's going to do something great in your life. So yeah, let us hear your story and prayer request yeah awesome awesome yeah that's really great yeah we'd love to connect you yeah, so many different ways we want to do that yeah what is that, is it going oh, yeah, that there's way? there's like no, a comment coming up way. on the screen yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah awesome awesome very cool that, that is great so yeah we've also got 11 30 uh, bilingual service today and 3 p.m japanese english mm. subtitles too so if you're free you want to catch those great to see you again but uh, otherwise we will see you uh next week mm. awesome so really good so i'll pray and then we'll, and then please enjoy your day so, okay everyone let's uh, pray together yeah so God, we just thank you for today. We just pray you bless each one of us that are watching and joining today. And I just pray you be with us during the week. 
that you would equip us, also just encourage us to break back in any areas, whether it's in journaling, whether it's in mission, whether it's being involved. And uh, yeah, God, we just know you're going to be with us and you're going to bless us. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Come on. Awesome, guys. Thanks so much for joining us. And uh, make sure you come back next week. We'll we'll do some more of our Tachikawa Olympics 2020. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> awesome. Have a great day, guys. All right. Love you guys. Bye-bye.